What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna let you in on a few secret mistakes data analysts and data scientists make during interviews. At my previous position as a data analyst, I was often tasked to conduct interviews for data science and data analyst positions. And I can tell you firsthand what mistakes to avoid and how you can land that dream job. With all that being said, let's get started. Number one, not conducting research on the company beforehand. Now, I assume when you have gone through your application process that you have done your research on the company, but if you haven't, make sure you do before your interview because you will be asked if you like the company, what attracted you to the company, what attracted you to the position, why you want to work for the company. Here is your time to shine when it comes to your research. So is there any product you like in specific? Is there anything you would like to improve? Have you used the products yourself. If that is the case, make sure you emphasize that. Let's take, for example, Netflix. I'm pretty sure that most of you watching right now have a Netflix account. And you, for example, are asked to interview for a data analyst position for Netflix. Now, they will ask you, have you used Netflix? And obviously you have, right? You'll be binging those shows. I know what you're doing in your free time, but let's not get derailed. <laughs> You have used Netflix, you're a daily user, you know what products they have, so just get into that flow. Just let them know what you like about the company, for how long you have used their products, and you'll be fine. Number two, not having concrete examples of projects ready to go. Now, during your interview process, you will often be asked if at your previous or current position, where a leader, if you're a team player, how do you interact with your stakeholders, with your management, with your other teammates, if you've ever overcome a difficult problem? Now, I believe one of my favorite interview questions was asked by Elon Musk. He said something in the lines of, at your previous position, what was a difficult problem you solved and how you solved it? Now, this is your time to shine. This is your time to let them know how you found the problem or you were given the problem and how you tackled it. And don't get into a lot of detail, but give them a very broad explanation of how you are valuable to the team. So make it as easy as possible to understand. Don't get too technical here because a lot of the times the interviewer does not have technical knowledge. And one of your job description attributes here should be able to explain what you have done to a stakeholder in an easy and understandable way. So that's your first test. If your interviewer that is of non-technical uh, background can understand what you're saying and how you solve that difficult problem from the company, then you're good to go. Here, it's not as important what you did technically, but what you think. The interviewer wants to see how you think, how you solve problems. So try to make it as easy for them to understand as possible. Now in this process, while you were asked if you ever were a leader or a team player, or how you solve the difficult problem, don't go ahead and be like, oh, me a few minutes i don't know um uh, i have to think about it don't do that that just shows that you are absent during previous projects or just a general lack of interest now this is your time to shine be ready with a few examples and let them know what you did number three not preparing for the technical questions now this is a very big mistake a lot of us do in the interview process we forget to prepare for the technical questions they will probably for a data analyst position ask you a lot of questions about sql or python or tableau how would you visualize a certain situation how would you go about solving a problem now just make sure you're paying attention to the question they are asking and answer to the best of your abilities and one last bonus mistake or can i say that bonus mistake whatever one last mistake i'm gonna let you in on and it's very 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 important ask questions 
ask questions during the interview. Obviously, do not interrupt the interviewer, but if you hear something they say that piqued your interest or if there is anything that you are interested in for the particular position and the company, make sure you ask questions during the interview and after the interview. It is so important you do because this shows that you're actually engaged with the interview, you're engaged with the person that's holding the interview, and you are actually interested in this position. So ask questions. This is one of the biggest mistakes I see during interviews. A lot of the times you get in your head, you are very stressed out and anxious, and you're thinking, oh, if I ask this question, what are they gonna think? What are they gonna think about me? You know what? They're there to answer the question and they're more than happy to do so. So make sure you write down before your interview a few questions you have prepared and just go for it. Oh, and remember, these interviews are made to be very conversation-like. Just breathe, relax, and be present. Be in the moment, okay? This was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed today's topic. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one. Now you go and nail that job interview. <laughs>